Low attention span Bellatro. I need to do something different with my freaking Bellatro videos. We are playing Gold Stake, the highest difficulty mode where the shop can have rental jokers. Let's go. Okay, first blind, discard cards to hopefully find a high flush. Boop, 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 boop. And there we go. One shot it just barely. Get $3 from my hands and gain interest. Nothing visibly great in this shop. Buy this buffoon pack. So here you can see the high difficulty downsides. This is eternal so it can't be sold. And rental makes it a money drain. The other one is also a money drain. but And it's perishable so it's debuffed after 5 rounds. Both bad but this one I can at least select and then sell it. To get my freaking money back. And we'll buy walkie talkie. Quite weak but will get us through the early game. Next round. Discarding for 10s and 4s but we didn't find it. This 2 pair should do it. It gives 10 and then plus 4 molt, getting us an 800 score. Mistprint, which is gives us a random molt. I'm pretty sure we still need to buy that. This is the last time I can buy this voucher though and the boss is coming up, but that is going to spend all my money. All that's doing is pretty much turning the deck into a red deck or something, because this is the red deck's effect. I don't think so. I don't think we do that. We need to re-roll to find good jokers. So this gives extra chips on a lot of my cards. Also got buffed last update uh, in this beta. Used to be plus 4 chips. Okay, next. Cards played previously are debuffed, this shouldn't matter. We kind of go for fours. We didn't really find that many, but here we'll still play it. So these cards get upgraded. There we go. And all of the jokers in my inventory right now are perishable. <laughs> this shop is trash next round. We have to defeat the boss, but okay, I need money, so we, we skip that. Creates with two common jokers, do we pick that up too? These are debuffed after, so all of them are debuffed after X rounds. But if I skip rounds, then that's less rounds that I will go through. So they will, these will last a little bit longer. So I skip that. And it's also, I'm not sure, but I don't, I don't think those ha come, come with special effects. Specifically cursed special effects, like the downsides. But this gives plus one molt per tarot card used. Very good to see that. And two common jokers, which I now need to wonder whether I get rid of misprint and walkie-talkie. I think it's not worth the risk. These are quite good for molt. I guess walkie-talkie might be a little bad. Fine, we'll sell just this one. I, I still need a molt source, so select. Okay, face cards give plus 30 chips. So, okay, but we have a straight in hand. Hmm, get rid of that just to hope to get face cards. I only have one hand to play. Jack. Okay, we got a jack, so that makes things a lot easier for me. Right? And... How many pea brains are gonna comment skill complaints when this is the luck I get? That's a number from 0 to 25. Shit, have sold misprint for walkie talkie. <laughs> okay, next run, I just skip both blinds and immediately fight the boss because we can get away with it. Discard for diamonds. Uh, low heart won't win it. Okay. I think we're gonna need to play one more hand, unfortunately. Alright, anyway. Those skips gave me $25 upon defeating the boss blind. And, oh, come on. It made this Joker free and polychrome. So now this is 1.5x molt. Incredible here. It's only it's perishable though, so will, unfortunately, not exist anymore. It also has a very good sell value though. Whatever. And square Joker, which I need to consider here. It's so good early game. Pretty sure I have to buy it even though there's rental on it. So rental makes it lose $3 in a round, which is ordinarily really bad. But it only costs $1. So I'm gonna pick it up. Also buy the buffoon pack. Bloodstone and smiley face for molt. I guess we don't have plus molt, so we get that one. Open this pack. Hmm. Hermit doubles the money. Yes, we will do that. We'll reroll to try to find some jokers. That's not a good one. I don't want another rental one. Well, there's a generic card enhancer, but we might as well save our money. Another plus molt source, might as well. Buying this should be worth it. Eh, not great, but whatever. I'll just upgrade these generically. Still want to find a Joker. Ooh, Joker step bad, bad. Actually, considering Bull, well, it's not going to last, so I shouldn't be saving that much money. But this is one I'm interested in. It's a Times Molt source, and there's not many of those, but I don't think it's worth it right now. Next round. All right. So Square Joker benefits when I play four cards. I believe this is so good that I should intentionally try to get low. <laughs> okay, I'm doing too well. And I'm one-shotting things that I don't intend to one-shot. Alright, find really high-quality jokers. Also open the spectral. Okay. Oh my god! Create a copy of random joker and destroy all the others. That's not good. I wonder if the copy resets the perishable timer, but... Add enhanced stasis, why not? Okay. Hmm. Well, whatever. Next round. Once again, I'm intentionally playing a bad four-card hand to power up square joker, which increases the chips when I play a four-card hand. 
Arcana. I'm going to find things that give me money, but I guess they don't have any. Well, here's... This gives me $10, which is the sell value of all these jokers. Might as well do so. Another Spectral. Add Gold Steel, or convert all cards to random rank, but hand size is reduced. I am not a thing about a... I, my deck is not about a certain rank. I'd like to keep it that way. I add Gold Seal to a high card. Let's look in the shop a little bit more. Ooh, fool. All right, we'll buy that, which gives the sell value of the Jokers, and I can buy Invisible Joker, then use the sell value. Okay, all right, duplicating a Joker is cool, but it is a little risky with the Eternal one in play. This is also the last chance to buy Director's Cut, which lets me reroll the boss blind. All right, next. Cards played previously are debuffed, but that shouldn't matter. Again, we're still trying to farm for upgrades here. Unfortunately, we're still going to win too fast. Okay. Oh, wait, we should have dug for the gold seal. Whoops. Alright. Each queen held the hand gives 13 molt. Doesn't look good. I'm not yet in dire situations regarding molt sources. Bad. Hmm, 1 in 15 chance to win $20. I... It's holographic. Could save me if I lose all my molt sources, I suppose. Alright, let's keep scaling, Square Joker. Intentionally keeping a 2 in hand as well, to have a low molt. That being said, I'm not really planning well for a certain card called Obelisk, which I might want to consider doing. Anyway, here it is. Okay, Invisible Joker is active now, so it could be sold to duplicate a random Joker. Let's buy this to double money. Hmm. Clearance is arguable here. I'm gonna buy it. So everything will now be, uh, percent off. Hmm. Enhance to a seal card, or glass card, or the Hierophant, or this, or this. Neither seem- none of them seem appealing. My face also got buffed last update. It used to be plus four. I still haven't dug for the king with the gold seal, which I keep forgetting to do. I'm gonna sell that, and then get a random joker. Plus eight mold of it contains a pair is very mediocre. Still nothing that gives me money here. I guess we just like the emperor. Oh, there is huge pressure to turn my entire deck into a freaking Spades Fiesta, I guess. Sure. I don't know, I'm gonna lose my Molt Source soon. Ooh, oh! Uh, huh. This is something that can really scale very well. I really am considering this. I would pick this up. So, sell that. Buy this Eternal, so I- and it's Eternal, so I can't get rid of it. But I think it'll be worth it. I'm turning my deck into Spades. Alright. Problem is, I don't have Jokers that are really that great to duplicate right now, so... It might be a little greedy here. First, uh, I do want room, so I'm gonna convert some cards to spades. Don't one-shot it, thank you. Okay, so now, um, we're actually looking for that gold king. Didn't find. Well, we play the fancy four, hoping for the money, but we didn't get it. Oh well. Okay. Those are disabled now. We actually should have sold them earlier so that we could have had an extra bit of interest. Oh well. Okay, so now... It's time to get rid of you. Open up the Mega Arcana, see if we can get some of the money ones. Okay, you know what? We didn't find it. And convert these to Molt cards, and create Terra cards again, because I- especially because I gain benefit from using them. Ah, come on, you can't get the Steel King anymore. I think I, I make this a Steel card, even though I just made it a Molt, because of- there's a synergy with Kings that are Steel cards that I could eventually make happen. Um, but this- that is very luck-reliant. So, as you can see, Fortune Teller is already working wonders. Just use this. Wheel of Fortune. Guess we use it. It's, it doesn't freaking apply. It would have been sad if that actually applied on Invisible Joker. Okay, do I care about planets enough? I don't think so. We actually use Buy Temperance here. That's, that's up to 18 molt. Hmm. I'm really keeping Invisible Joker in this sad state. I need to find stuff like Econ. I want to copy something deeply overpowered, and we don't have that yet. Nope. Alright, next round. All hearts are debuffed. Play pairs. Hey, finally we found that freaking king. Do you want to discard a little bit though? So we can play a king alongside it? Oh well. This is not going to win immediately, which is good for me. Just going to dig down for another king. Am I not going to find- well, it doesn't matter. I can play this. I just- I actually just didn't want to play high card because of Obelisk, which is a card that might benefit from me playing- making pairs of my most played hand. This is really good for $7. It's an extra hand, which will also let me farm a bit more. Now I opened these to find... didn't find it. Old card hollow. Do I use that? Probably not. I was hoping for purple seal. Hmm. Nope. Stone card, which I still haven't discovered. I mean, maybe it's time to play that, but... I genuinely need to consider buying this. 
Because a Square Joker doesn't have the plus chips right now, and playing a 5 card hand that is uh, plus chips is technically like plus 20, uh, 250 chips. If you manage to play 5 stone cards, so I'm gonna buy it. Let's see if we can find a gold thing though in this pack. Didn't find it. Well, we found this. And it's a red seal, so it actually re-triggers it and it'll be $6 if it's in hand, which is a nice grab. Alright, next. I love Square Joker. Continue leveling up Square Joker. Okay, I need to do the annoying math whether this will actually kill the boss. Um, no, we got like 3,000 last hand, so this will definitely kill it, which is not good for me. Alright. Unfortunately, we're gonna beat it. So we're digging for the gold seal thing, which we didn't find. Might as well play our lucky card then. Alright, oh well. A lot of bad... Ugh, God. You're not getting your use. You should at least copy Golden Joker. That's what I should have done, right? But here's the... God, God, it could be so bad. Okay, duplicated that. That's fi that's completely fine with me. It'll be like a times two. All right. Hermit justice. No, we we're getting a hermit here. The question is if I sell this because that's like more value. But I think I'm fine with getting the stone cards in deck for now. Next. Uh, this is six thousand for that right because we're doubling in value. Alright, let's find the discards. We found that, which is quite good. We should now hunt for the gold seal king, which we didn't find. Oh well. But yeah, this was going to win it too quickly. <laughs> so, you can see that gold gave $6 instead of just 3 because it re-triggered twice. This is a tarot card, so we use it for fortune teller's reasons. It's not relevant, this is steel, but whatever. We spend it in order to have room for these tarot cards. We can find some overpowered things here. Not really. Hmm. Can we find a purple seal or gold thing here? We did find a gold and a... Hmm. Well, it's funny that we have stone cards as a choice here. Hmm. All of these are actually kind of reasonable. Like, the red seal could eventually become good, but... Actually, it's very unlikely red seal is good because we have decided to make a fortune teller. The, the builds that have effective red seal low number re-triggers do not work in timing wise with the fortune teller because the fortune teller will happen after the repeated boost so no. I'll use the potential money source and the stone card but I expect our deck to be filled with stone cards and don't and not much gold so lose one dollar per card played. I'm trying to get rid of trash here right so we destroy cards play some trash please don't actually win okay good Try to find that king. Didn't find it. Well then make this a gold card. Still want to power up Square Joker, despite the cost. And that wins it. There we go. And we happen to have just over $25 for the best interest level. Okay, one hand size, but it's eternal. Or X2 Molt. No, not a rental X2 Molt. You're crazy. Alright, we buy the blank, but not now. Instead, we look for uh, good effects in here. Gold Seal, might as well. Purple seal, very glad to see, but- Oh, but come on, stone red seal is too good. Oh my god, this choice. Purple seal that can give me tons of t and tons of tarot cards. Or 100 chip, this is what this card is representing. I think purple seal is too strong. Let's look in this here. Oh, eternal is bad, we don't- we don't go for this. Though there is some funny synergy that this is a, something that gives tarot cards when fortune teller exists. All right. You can see that the steel card did not trigger at the right time. Well, unfortunately, there's no such thing as a pair of stone cards. So we were going to play high card again. Okay, I'm, I, I, now I can't play pairs. A bit annoying because I intentionally made my deck want to play pairs. And it might accidentally win too. But oh well. Whoopsies, didn't get to use the other discard I had. Okay, maybe it's time to get rid of the Marble Joker. Let's check the insides of this pack. Ooh, extra discards each round. Not the worst thing ever, and I can sell this, then then put this in here. I have never actually used this, by the way. It just looked terrible when I read it, but... Like, it it, it was, like, not discovered yesterday. So we can find another purple seal, then. Cool. Emperor, oh, perfect. That even creates temperance for extra sell value, which, which is great. Stone card enhancement, something I can consider. Death to convert, and we're done with the shop, then. Okay, so... 
I get tons more discards, but of course less hand size, as we know. We just play a pair here to level up uh, Square Joker again, which is now at about 112 chips. Well, we could convert a card to a stone card. I'm gonna do that. But also we're gonna convert this into a... This death which can convert cards into other cards. This gives purple seal, so it's incredible, because now I discard all this stuff, getting extra tarot cards at the same time. We have a sealed king, so we actually sell, get rid of that. Mm, death. Okay, so we, we do spend death. There is a very, very slight advantage for converting these cards into clubs, because there is a times three molt that makes incentivizes my deck to be all black cards. Let's keep the king. All right, convert this to a red seal five. Just looks incredible here. That doesn't win it, which is good for me because it gets me to power up this more. Okay. Look at this freaking money, alright. Alright, so so far Mary Andy has been going fine. Just fine. This is the last chance to buy this voucher. Which can give me a really good voucher in the future. Kind of luck based though whether it does give it to me though. Double my money. Hmm. Choose up. I'm gonna choose some jokers. Both are bad. Both of them give just regular plus molt, and I don't need any plus molt right now. Reroll. Egg that's eternal is a joke. Extra molt is useless. Hmm. Mr. Bones prevents death. Pretty sure, sure I should go for it. I have so much econ that's in my deck that I don't need a joker slot for it anymore. And next round, I guess. All spades are debuffed. Kind of sucks that my deck is full of spades, but doesn't actually matter very much. Although with my purple seals being on wild and being debuffed, that's not great to see. Might as well play something then. Happy to see that king in there, though. It's kind of a dumb occasion where... Like, what? I'm, I guess I'm getting rid of stone cards because I want to play pairs. Upgrade. Need a gold. I still have a bunch of gold cards left in the deck. This should not win yet, right? Well, if I'm gonna do that, then I might as well play this. I expect to not win yet. Okay. Alright, we should be good. Look at look at how look at how good this is. Alright. Alright, and tons of gold. This is a tarot card, so we pick it up. Really wondering about Mary Andy. We could replace it with this with a more consistent X Molt. Death? Okay. Is there even a point to the shop now? I guess I could get some money thing. This is an x -Molt. Technically, I am in the market for x -Molt. I don't think it's good enough. We're gonna go standard pack. Hmm, is it greedy now to do this? And tarot's are much better than money now. Wh whatever. Okay, next. We have a lucky and a card converter, so we're gonna do that. Still attempt to play just some random trash. Once again, I can convert here. Eight good discards. Enhance these to molt cards. Oh wow, Polychrome on Mr. Bones? What the hell? Alright, nice to get some X Molt. Um, it's very anti-synergistic, but whatever. This should not win yet. Oh shoot, uh, Mr. Bones is being Polychrome is too good right now. We'll want to actually not have such efficiency in the future. I might have screwed myself out of more bonuses though. Oh well. Whoops. Oh well, we can try to move this over so that I can score a little less, but it's not gonna, like, it's not gonna be likely to help. Yep. Oh well. Wild card, we do want Taros. Bad. Well, gaining hands and losing discards. No, it doesn't have synergy. It doesn't. No, it doesn't. Wheel of Fortune. Nope. Bad. Okay, I don't think any of these are good either. But still worth looking in the shop. I don't know if it's good to, like, go in here anymore. Looking in these standard packs, hoping for, what, purple seals when I already have so many? But, oh well. Nope. Speed tag's not worth. Turn the card into a wild card. Might as well. Bonus cards, I guess? Hmm. This is a mega tease. Might as well play king high. For the gold, at least. I have one normal five in the deck. Not a normal five. I guess we just power up Square Joker here. Might as well turn a card into a stone card as well, though.
And it wins. Whoop dee do. Judgment, but I don't have room for it. Mary Andy was a greed joker anyway. We don't have a. We, we shouldn't do that. We should probably sell that. We don't have an ace in a straight consistency, I think. Alright. So destroy five random cards in hand, gain 20. Actually, we have a lot of ordinaries in here. And only one special. So I am actually going to destroy it. And anyway, the special one didn't even disappear, which is great. Okay, times three molt. At least 16 enhanced cards are your full deck. But I have way more than 16 enhanced cards. It is perishable, but I expect to not to get punished for it. So there we go. Buy that for sure. Buy some random tarot cards as well. Spade converter. This is going quite well. There was no purple on that. So no repeat hand types this round. So this is the time when you would like to play flushes and bad stuff like that. Actually, I'm worried about insta-winning. I'm gonna insta-win. I should try to find... Well, actually, I, I lost my opportunity to find the... Because <laughs> I spent all my discards not realizing. Yeah, if I get purple seals after this, is gonna be embarrassing. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, so we waste this on purpose because we want to have tarot cards in inventory. Invert. Play a flush, which will allow the king to work. And I just won. We, that was probably bad on my part. I should have moved these over. Because I could have gotten some gold seal and uh, gold cards. Oh well. We aren't likely to lose anyway, but it's better to not take those chances. Anyway, plus one discard. That's a good voucher. Wheel of Fortune for Tarot. Nice. It got a holographic effect. Not actually that much in the long run, but... Oh, come on. What a troll. Perishable as well. Like, I, I know I should sell it and switch it, but for some reason, the perishable makes me worried. I I'm, I'm, I have to. Like, it just, it has to be the best thing. So, times three, times three. All right, let's tear. Oh, come on. All right, well, next round, which I might... But the jokers aren't that... Ugh, these skip tags are not very good. What if we find another times three? <laughs> Whatever. Skip, play, I guess. Try to find one of these. Yep, just to farm a little bit more. Moon. Oh, wow. There's a lot of good stuff here. Uh, because of Blackboard, though, we want to very specifically switch out certain cards to be black. So, that's good. I want to play King, King, 5-5. Five, five, and just in case the card I get is red. Okay, that didn't seem to matter, but yeah, so we play this. Well, no, because we, we don't need the times three yet, so I'll just play this for now. Keep scaling Square Joker. And that doesn't one-shot it, which is good. Square Joker, just keep getting Square Joker up. Um, which is currently at 160 chips. Wait, no, no, no. Blackboard shouldn't... Oh, whatever. <laughs> I should have kept the three in hand. I mean, the, the nine that, that was red in hand. Oh, well. It's nice sometimes when you can control the times molt. <sighs> Not discovered. I barely have lucky cards on the deck, but it gains times 0.25 molt. It's trash. It's polychrome. Woo. I don't think it lucky is going to trigger enough times for that to be good. Wheel, alright, wheel is freaking foil now, why not? Temperance. Ooh, gold card though. It's gotta be better to have gold. Well, gold card it is. So we find some taros, this very low molt. Not worth it. Campfire actually might be a little bit worth it. It'll probably be... could probably get it higher than three, but I just don't want to. Well, maybe. <laughs> I, I mean, it's gotten... It, it, it really does the power to go more than three. But it's gonna be a drain on my money to do that, so I think I just won't. I Priestess? Sure. Alright, next. Base chips and molts are halved. That is actually very irrelevant because I get all my chips from these anyway. Right, we, we convert stuff to spades. Now play this. Get some planet cards, but I don't actually care about them. Am I weird for keeping the red card in hand just to farm? Chariot Death. Okay, this is better as a steel card. No, I, I think I want blackboard. I mean, that's a little risky. It really isn't. So here we can do this. And one-shotted. Alright, rental mechanic is sick. Alright. Alright. Here. Hermit, death. Death, maybe. Getting tarot is too good, though. Not gonna go for the thing that resets one, uh, my ante down. As it's very dependent on my perishables, and I... Yeah, these perishables are going to go away soon, so... Bad. Oh my gosh, those are bad. So I guess I skip. I have to skip because this is perishable. and goes away in two rounds. Converted cards. Diamonds don't actually want things to be diamonds, so we uselessly do something with it like that. Really? A, a purple? This is the best I can do. One purple seal. Fix it now. That's better. Okay. 
It doesn't matter what I convert this to. It doesn't have a suit. Unless it, I get it, I get rid of the stone on it, which is not real, so... Although stone doesn't count as a suit, so might as well play this. There we go, one-shotted. Alright, one round remaining for driver's license, but this is totally fine, because the next one is going to be the boss. Everything is free, except it's useless. Woo. Bad. Hermit's good, though. Fine, guess I'll open a free planet. And check out the Joker. I mean, what? We're not going to find a times three in here, so it's useless. All right, forces one card always be selected. Does it actually matter? Not really. Oh, come on. I wanted a very real extra gold. All right, let's go. Here are bases and tons, and it one-shots the final boss. Woo, there we go. Okay. So that was my very first yellow gold stake, except for the one that you just saw at the beginning of the video.